Dallas Cowboys owner, president, and general manager Jerry Jones hit the ground running Tuesday, reporting to the star at 7.30 in the morning, the first time the league has allowed staff and some players back to their facilities since the coronavirus broke out. No players or coaches just yet, just some staff and players who are undergoing rehab from previous injuries are allowed back in the facilities at the time. Joining the Cowboys on the first day of opening facilities are the Texans, Falcons, Cardinals, and Colts, with the Jaguars set for next Tuesday. There was no better place uh, than right here in our office, my office, to uh, participate uh, in the virtual league meeting that we're having. Uh, in the days and weeks ahead, I look forward to welcoming many of our employees uh, back to our workplace. Uh, we're committed to doing uh, what is safe and smart and everything that complies with uh, all the rules. Check out Bucks quarterback Tom Brady in his brand new colors. Brady held an informal workout with eight other of his Tampa Bay teammates. The two hour session was held at Tampa's Berkeley Prep School Tuesday morning. A league spokesperson told ESPN that Brady can conduct these workouts as long as they are following the recommendations and guidelines of state and local authorities and medical experts, along with NFLPA guidelines. In December, as head coach of UTSA football, Jeff Trailer hasn't let COVID-19 slow him down one bit. He's beating the virtual pavement every day. And according to 24-7 Sports, his 2021 recruiting class is number one in Conference USA. So check it out. Number one in Conference USA for 2021, whereas last year the Roadrunners were 12th in the conference. Nationally, even more impressive, coming in at number 45 in the land according to 24-7 Sports. Wow. Yeah, Coach Trailer is known to be one good recruiter. And with all the obstacles that you have to overcome with uh, the coronavirus, that's yeah. saying something. For it is, yeah, he has virtual meetings every day with his players, with his staff, with recruits, with their families. Like, this guy, he likes to talk. He likes to recruit. He's a really nice dude. Good for him. Yep. All right, Larry, thanks. So, how does $500 sound? Okay, I take it. SA Live is going to tell you how your graduate can cash in. Mike and Fiona have gifts galore, in fact, to tell you about. It's all about dogs, grads, and summer fun. It's an SA Live you are going to love. It's National Rescue Dog Day. You might be surprised when you hear how things have really changed at local rescues in just a few months. Need a place to head to for you and your dog? We're taking you to a food truck park for you and your furry friend and seeing how they're getting ready to open. The class of 2020 deserves something really special. We've got the ultimate gift guide for the grad in your life. Still can't find beef at the grocery store? We have got something new for you to try. It's a traditional recipe with a very untraditional ingredient. It's a summer of family fun. Whether you're cooling off in the water or looking for indoor activities, we've got the gadgets you're dying to get your hands on. Don't you just love looking at beautiful homes where you can scope out some really great ones and how you can even win your very own pool? You know what your grad will really love? $500. We'll tell you how they can cash in. A brand new SA Live is just minutes away. Is that money? You carry money? Never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Scientists say they have found fossils showing saber-toothed anchovies roaming the ocean 41 to 54 million years ago. Using a form of computer, a computed tomography, or what we know of as a CT scan, researchers discovered multiple fangs in the fish's lower jaw and one massive cyber tooth on top. According to Science Magazine, it's believed that these teeth were used, obviously, for hunting. Ugly looking fish. Saber tooth anchovies evolved after dinosaurs were extinct. Then they became extinct themselves before modern humans appeared on Earth. However, many of the fish we still see today were around at the same time. They looked like the big one thing there looks like some um, garfish, you see, you know? I don't know, I, but I wonder how they would have tasted in a Caesar salad. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Just saying. Saber tooth anchovy paste. Ugh. Yeah. No good. Nobody, nobody likes those on pizza either, right? I like it in a Caesar. Yeah, no, it's good. No, no, no. Anyway, uh, 94 degrees today, 91 Thursday, 90 on Friday. We'll see some rain chances next few days, especially in the overnight hours, and then some isolated stuff Saturday, Sunday uh, into Monday. More scattered Sunday into Monday. Guys.
Thanks, Justin. And that's it for our show today. Mike and Viola has some toys look like a lot of fun. Oh, uh, they're just kids at heart. Yeah, they are. And we'll find out how fun they are right now. Sabercooth Anchovies, it's a great name for a band. <laughs> it's National Rescue Dog Day. We're taking you to a spot where you and your new best friend can enjoy the day together. Plus, HEB is going big for the class of 2020. See how your grad could win a $500 gift card. And we're days away from the unofficial kickoff of summer. We've got the gadgets and games your family will just love. It's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSAT 12 studios, this is SA Live. Hello and happy Wednesday. Yep, it is National Rescue Dog Day. And throughout the show, we're going to be showing you some of the furry friends waiting for their forever homes. Oh, look at that. Mm. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Our rescue dogs have added a lot of love to our homes. Yes. And I know you have some rescues, right? Yeah, uh, Max, Max, he is a rescue. He's on the left right there. Mm. He was a uh, the Shih Tzu rescue. There was a military family, and they had to give him up as they were being restationed. And so my wife got him. That's been about, oh, gosh, eight, nine years ago, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still Aren't around, you? And Max. you? <laughs> yes, and I... The little one, that's Savvy, named because she's incredibly clever, too smart for her own good. Uh, she came from a rescue up in Dallas. And then Cash, the larger Jiberian Shepsky, <laughs> you know, 88 pound, <laughs> you know, like so, <laughs> socially, uh, you know, he's scared of everything. Uh, he wandered into the KSAT parking lot. Yep. Here and, on yeah. the day that it snowed. It was in December, a couple it's of years been back. A, a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and then somehow wandered into the lobby and mm -hmm. into your heart. Yeah, and into my car, and then yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> she feeds him beef every day. <laughs> All right, so we want to see your rescue dogs. Post your pictures on social media and tag us at SA Live KSAT, and we'll try to share some later on in the show. And Cash is a big old sweetie. So no, excited, he is. too. Yes, he's been kind of big dog. So, <laughs> hey, like everything else, dog rescues have been greatly impacted by all this coronavirus mess going on here but some of the things happening right now might surprise you in a very good way. One of our producers, Robert Morin, went to the Animal Defense League to learn more about the changes and the fun way they're adapting to the times. Hi, it's producer Robert. I'm here at the Animal Defense League on their huge, beautiful campus for National Rescue Dog Day. I'm gonna meet some of their adoptable dogs and find out about a brand new fundraiser they're doing. Roscoe, hi Roscoe! <laughs> so rescuing a dog is the most rewarding thing that you can do. Um, these animals, we don't know what their backgrounds are. Um, they could have been abused, lost. Um, they, they end up in our shelter for so many different reasons, um, but they all have the same outcome. They're looking to find their next forever home and they're just looking for love. Our, our biggest changes was going to be the amount of people that came through our facility. So we typically were a walk-in basis. Um, you know, if you're just driving by, you can come through and view the animals. Um, but now it is an appointment basis, and so we, that's a way that we are able to control the amount of people that come through. And then, of course, everyone does have to wear their mask. We rely very, very heavily on our donations. Honestly, um, you know, donations we're pretty much based just on those. Um, all the toys that our animals get, all the medical care. So our new fundraiser is a virtual marathon or 5K whatever you want to run. Um, it was kind of a way for us to get a little creative around the, the social distancing guidelines. So with this fundraiser, you can sign up for, like I said, either the 5K, 10K, or a full marathon if you would like, and you can run it on your own time, at your own location, at your own pace, and then the proceeds from the registration goes directly to Animal Defense League and helps us care for the animals that we have here. Um, so since we're talking about the Doggy Dash, we can go ahead and take a look at some of the animals that we have here. That would be a good match for your walk, run, or jog. So this is Adonis. Um, he is a four-year-old Akita Shepherd mix. He is definitely going to be one of our residents that is going to be more of a walker. He's very calm, very chill, um, loves to be in your company, but uh, just wants to go a little slow. So Adonis is our walker. I'm going to take him out and see how he does. So Adonis is a, a big boy. He's strong, but he just searches around, sniffs, smells. Um, he's just exploring, and uh, he goes at a good pace. So he's a he's a good walker. All right. So this is Roscoe. He would be a great candidate for a jogging opportunity. Um, so Roscoe, he is a two-year-old Staffordshire mix. He has been with us for about a month or so. Um, he came here from the city shelter, Animal Care Services, and he's been hit with the shelter so far. Um, super sweet. Um, he definitely is an active dog, but he's a little 
chunky boy, so maybe a jog would be good for him right now. <laughs> okay, let's see how Roscoe does on his jog. It was a pretty good jog, right? A few stops, a little bit of a run. All right, so this is Justice. Uh, she is a three-year-old terrier mix. She would definitely be an awesome partner for a good run. She's very, very active um, and definitely stays by your side. Um, so she would definitely be a good choice for you. Okay, I think Justice is gonna give me a workout. Yeah, so if you do wanna run it, you'll sign up through our website. Um, we also have a Facebook page for it. And then you're gonna want to track it on either like an Apple Watch um, or any of the like Nike running apps, anything that you may have. Um, you'll track your run and then you're gonna screenshot your results for it. And then starting on June 1st, and you're going to submit your results. And then the top three winners of each desired distance, um, they are gonna get a ADL goodie bag with you know koozies and fun stuff like that. Um, and they'll also receive a uh, ADL 2020 Fiesta medal. So one surprising thing that I think is a really good silver lining for everything going on right now, one great thing that we've seen is there's been an uptick in adoptions, an uptick in fostering. You know, I think people are at home, they have a little bit more time on their hands, they have their kids to help them out, or maybe they're by themselves and they are looking for a companion. So adoptions right now are actually up 17%, which is amazing. So if you want to help the Animal Defense League continue to rescue dogs, join their Doggy Dash. You can sign up now. You can do a 5K, 10K, or the marathon. Me and Lily, we're going to sign up for the 5K. We're going to start getting ready. Come on, Lily. Let's go. Come here. Okay. So the Chihuahua that, you know, you're seeing right here, he was there yesterday afternoon and by this morning, he was adopted. Oh, that's Michelle fantastic. Michelle says the dogs find homes fast. So don't wait if you're interested. San Antonio is stepping up like never before, which I absolutely love. And I love the way they're coming up with new ideas, you know, just the creativity going there. And if you're looking for even more ways to help, you can donate directly to the ADL on its website or check out the website of your favorite rescue. Now, many of them have Amazon wish list, and this is the simplest thing you can select the items that you like, have it shipped straight to them. It's exactly what they need. And you can always foster too, because they're always looking for fosters. Every business has been adjusting to changes. Today, we take you to the Point Park and Eats Food Truck Park on the far northwest side of town. Now, after this week's announcement, this location will be able to open for business on Friday. Our Jen Tobias Strusky went there to see how things have changed and how this place is a dog-friendly family stop. If you're looking for a dog friendly spot where you can come and get some takeout, keep your social distance and still support some local businesses that could really use your help, the Point Park and Eats is where you want to go. I brought my dog with me today and we are here to support some local businesses and get some takeout and dogs are welcome. Yeah, the people, if the dogs need a walk, come out, take them out for a little walk, order your food, order your beer and then you can head home. Located off I-10, just inside Bernie Stage Road, the Point Park and Eats is one of the first family-owned food truck parks in San Antonio. Over the past nine weeks, they're staying afloat by following the proper guidelines. So right now we are to go and delivery. So we're able to deliver within the neighborhood, within five miles and uh, doing curbside to go. We're, we're still offering um, all of our draft beer to go. We can actually pour you a draft beer. We put a lid on it, put it in a bag to go. Um, we have tons of bottles and cans. Um, our menu is available online on the website. Uh, we're also doing our house coffee, uh, lattes, um, sodas, something for the kids. Uh, ice cream, manganadas. Day to day, you'll find two to three food trucks here. Our resident food trucks are Fo Yu and New York Grill and Curb, and they've been with us through this whole process, um, opening when they feel it's comfortable for them to open. Um, and they're our family. They've been here a very long time, and when we try to support one another, I know it's been really hard on them, sourcing product and just, you know, prices are going up, and, and they're just rolling with it. So while the playground will have to remain closed, 
here at the point off Bernie stage and I 10 they still have food trucks who could definitely use your support so we're gonna test out some of the food here um, and so we'll go here with Fo Yu Vietnamese cuisine Mr. Kong at Fo Yu like he's a neighborhood staple and if he if he's not here the neighborhood will go crazy <laughs> New York Grill their family owned dad and daughters working together good to go Yum. And if you're more into the Greek food, we've got the chicken kebab over rice. This is the customer favorite. Delicious food and refreshing drinks. So we will give this a try. There it is. Mmm, so good. And starting Friday, back open for business. We already have the tables set up, kind of spaced out how we want them, and we're gonna organize the bar area a little bit more. Um, you know, we won't have bar seating, just and that's just to keep us safe, you know, and, and we're gonna, we keep our distance, we have sanitizers, and we wear our masks. Um, so yeah, we want everybody to feel, feel safe, and um, we'll do everything that we can. And while the energy is positive here, the reality is that these past several weeks have been some of the most challenging ever for Denise Aguirre and her husband. It's been hard. Well, I chose to get into this, so, you know, don't feel sorry for me. I left a really good paying job at USAA to do this, so, but it is hard and, and the bills keep going, you know, the rent still due. You know, when your business drops 80%, and especially during prime time season, it really has been a challenge, but our, we have such a loyal customer base, and I mean, I thank God for them. The struggle is definitely real, but they're doing all they can to remain open for their loyal customers. Taking it day by day. You know, the kids are welcome, the pets are welcome, just stay in your little groups at your tables. All the more reason to, to support and, local. Um, so if we can get through this, it'll be awesome. If it's not meant to continue, we've kind of come to peace with that, but um, we certainly hope that's not the case. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Drusky. Got a great attitude. Yes. yes. All right. Well, one thing to keep in mind, the Point Food Park is not only helping local food trucks, they source beer from breweries from all over Texas. So again, you're supporting an entire family of businesses that are coming together to stay alive. Head over to SALive.com for more information on the Point Park and Eats. Still ahead on the show, are you having trouble finding beef at the grocery store? How about trying a, a little something a little different? We check out a new product that goes beyond the butcher. But first, the class of 2020 has put up with a lot. They deserve some great gifts. Whether you're shopping for someone leaving the home for the first time or entering adulthood, we got some really great gift ideas. That's coming up next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, these are some of the great grads that are being honored on KSAT.com. Of course, everyone loves a shout out, shout out but let's be real. Mm -hmm. Nothing beats a great gift. Yes, lifestyle and gift giving expert Jennifer Munoz put together an incredible list of items that will help your high schoolers transition out of the home. And your college grads get ready for the real world. Hi, Mike and Fiona. It's Jen Munoz. I am here to talk about gift giving, one of my favorite things in the entire world to do. For the high school grad, many of them, it's going to be the first time they're out on their own. So um, giving them gifts that prepare themselves for success when you're not going to be around. Um, one thing to start with is um, a travel roadside assistance kit that they can keep in their car and they'll always be prepared for life's little emergencies when they can't call you. Um, the second thing is communication. You want to be able to talk to mom and dad, right? I mean, or mom and dad want to be able to talk to you. It's probably more like it. Um, so having like an Echo Dot where mom and dad can drop in without even having to travel to college. Um, and also when you're not around, um, you can always ask Alexa those qu um, quick little questions <laughs> that you would love to be able to ask mom and dad when they're not around. If you buy one of those beautiful gratitude globes, everyone in the family, friends can kind of put a little message in there. And so if you're having one of those moments at school where you're like, I really want to come home, you can pull a little note out and read that little bit of inspiration or memento from a loved one, and it'll just keep you going. 
So some other things that are great when you um, have your first place, right? You want to have your keys, you can stick them on your wrist. That big O keychain is a really good option because it's just like a bracelet. And then they also make uh, clear bags that are perfect for taking to the big game and um, they're stadium approved. For the college grads, in a lot of cases, they are, maybe somebody's not gonna go straight to college. They're gonna travel for a little bit. So you can pick up a very affordable suitcase and camera like these from Kohl's um, and then package it with a book, um, a travel book so that they have like the destination of their choice that they're going to go to and kind of package all that together, which is a really sweet gift for somebody. Um, second, if they are going to go straight into the workplace, sometimes it's hard to make new friends when you start at a new job. So you want to have conversation starter pieces in your wardrobe. Um, we love happy socks for that. And I have one who eventually is gonna become a vet. So we have a little bit of a dog theme going here. Um, but if you buy happy socks that are, you know, dog themed or whatever your graduate is going into, when they're out on their own, you wanna be able to know that they can take care of themselves, right? So again, another dog themed um, item. <laughs> but this is the multi-tool and this one's from REI. And it can basically do um, it has a screwdriver. It's got a bunch of different options that can basically do anything except fetch. So um, it's a really good option just to have in your wallet and take with you wherever you go. Um, and then when you are at work, um, I think, you know, that first couple weeks kind of can be awkward sometimes when you're trying to figure out like, who do I go to lunch with or where do I even go? Um, so packing your lunch in a package like prep is great because not only do you save money, um, but then you don't have to worry about where you're going to go. You just, it's all there self-contained and it's a super trendy lunchbox. Gifts for any graduate run the gamut. Um, the first thing we have is a game called Things They Don't Teach You in School, which is always fun for those people who just like those useless trivia questions. <laughs> um, Harry and David also has a congratulatory ice cream assortment. Last but not least is our um, Amazon gift card, which you can never go wrong with. And it is absolutely adorable because it comes in a box that looks like a graduation cap. There's nothing better than being able to give the perfect gift I already know what I'm getting you for your birthday. It was in there. <laughs> Useless trivia. <laughs> really? Because I'll just recite it to you. That's okay. It'll oh, make that. you happy. So okay. happy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you asked for it. No, hey, those are myself. some fantastic ideas, but if that wasn't enough, we have even more ideas for the grad in your life. Tonight, HEB is hosting a Texas-sized graduation celebration. At 7 o'clock, join HEB on YouTube as they honor Texas high school and college seniors. They'll have special messages from famous Texans, one-of-a-kind musical performance, and a very special surprise guest, but you're going to have to watch to find out who it is. And let's get to those gifts. There's also a chance for your grad to win a $500 gift card. Again, it's all happening tonight at 7 p.m. on YouTube. For more information, HEB has it on their website, and we have a link on our website, salive.com. Just look for the As Seen on SA Live story for today. If I say I'm a grad, can I enter to win the final? Never mind. <laughs> Still ahead on SA Live from grad gifts to gadgets and games. Say that three times fast. Grad gifts, gadget games. Say We've got plenty of ideas to make it a fun-filled Memorial Day weekend. And next, lots of people love looking at beautiful homes where you can check out some great ones and how you could even get a free pool out of it. That's straight ahead on SA Live. Biggest open house in Central Texas. The Spring Tour of Homes is going on right now through May 31st in San Antonio, New Braunfels, and Bernie. You can tour beautiful homes like these in the Texas Hill Country north of San Antonio. Joining me now in the KSAT Garden is Christy Sutterfield, Executive Vice President of the Greater San Antonio Builder Association. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Fiona. It's great to see you. Right, and on such a beautiful day. It okay. is. It and is. speaking of seeing beautiful things, tell us what folks can 
can expect from this year's spring tour pops. We have 11 key communities with 58 new homes on the tour all throughout the entire greater San Antonio uh, area. Being outside right now is a treat, it you know, is. and that's something that folks will notice about these communities, right? Yes, Kinder Ranch, it was developed by Denton Communities. It's a 1,000 acre master plan community. It has an elementary school and a middle school and a high school under construction that'll open in August of 2021, but also a junior Olympic pool, miles and miles of hiking nature trails. How are CPS Energy and Keith Sars Pools getting involved? CPS Energy is our presenting partner for the Spring Tour of Homes, and we are so grateful for their continued support, not only of the Builders Association, but of our entire community. They're a great partner. Keith Sars Pool, one lucky buyer will win a $55,000 in-ground pool. Now, is it free to tour these homes, and what measures are um, uh, in place to kind of keep people safe. It is free to tour the homes. Each one of our builders has all the social distancing protocols in place. They'll be cleaning the surfaces and the doorknobs. And you know what? There's a telephone number for every builder online and they can see it at sabuilders.com. Also joining me now in the KSAT garden is Wayne Moravitz, president and owner of Monticello Homes. Good Thank afternoon. you so much for being here as well. All right, let's talk about what kinds of homes you're gonna be featuring in the Spring Tour of Homes. Well, with over 26 years in the business, we're excited to offer eight new designs for the Spring Tour this year, uh, all in north central part of San Antonio, up to Bernie, Bulverde, and just west of New Braunfels. What kinds of custom features are you offering in the Kinder Ranch community? Well, Kinder Ranch is a master plan community comprised of over a thousand acres distinctly organized in five neighborhoods. We're excited because Monticello is in three of those neighborhoods. We have Sunday Creek, Hastings Ridge, and the estates. And so we have a little something to offer everyone from the 300s up to even $700,000. What about the new builds? How are those different from the homes already in Kinder Ranch? So what you're seeing today is taller ceilings, bigger windows, very open livable floor plans with flexible spaces. Most of the homes are one stories, whereas maybe 10 years ago they were two stories uh, or predominantly two stories. So we've had to change a lot about what we do and now we're spending even more time at home, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we're having to fulfill needs of officing out of the home or maybe you have more kids at home again. So we have more game rooms or more separate spaces for different needs, hobbies or whatever. The Spring Tour of Homes runs today through May 31st in San Antonio, New Braunfels, and Bernie. There will be open houses on weekends and Memorial Day, Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Sundays and Memorial Day from noon to 5 p.m. All participating model homes on the tour are open and they do have sanitation and social distancing procedures in place. Or you can schedule an appointment for a personal showing. You can download the mobile app. It's free for iPhone and Android. Just search SA Spring Tour of Homes on Google Play or the Apple App Store. And you can enter to win a Keith Czar's pool. They're giving away a $50,000 custom pool package. Just visit a participating home on the Spring Tour of Homes or visit sabuilders.com for more information. All these gadgets and games will really pump up the family fun for your three-day Memorial Day weekend. But right now, here's a few easy ways to stay healthy brought to you by BMW of San Antonio and the Tobin Center for the Performing Arts. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, most of us already have the grill, the summer outfits, and food and drink ideas, but what about fun things for the family to do? Our go go gadget guy, Steve Greenberg, got his hands on some really hot items that can keep you and the kids occupied for hours this summer. With summer coming up soon, you're going to have the family home. What are you going to do with the family? I've got some gadget suggestions to help. First up, Check this out. This is called Smart Buddies. And you see these diverse characters right here? Well, they come with these little self-balancing robotic scooters for ages six and up. And then with a free app, you can then learn to really tr train these robotic scooters to do all sorts of things. For example, I have Zara back there and I have trained her to do this. Check it out. Here we go. And take it away, Zara. You can see, you can get some pretty neat stuff. You can do obstacle courses or all sorts of things. Now this is not only 
a toy that you can play with in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, but it's also a summer camp. They have camp in a box. So instead, since real camps are all closed, you can actually sign up for this camp and then through Zoom, kids meet, there's counselors and teachers who will then help them with coding, help them with the smart buddies. Great way to keep the kids really occupied for at least two weeks in the summer. So check it out. Next, this is called the Adventure Challenge. And what it is, it's 50 challenges that you can do indoors, some are outdoors. You basically scratch off these gray squares and underneath them is the challenge. Once you've done the challenge, it, you can get it with or without a camera. So you can take a picture of it and then you put that instant picture right inside the book and when you can write some comments and when you finish it you've got this really great keepsake a whole bunch of memories right in the book they have a family edition they have a couple's edition and they have a friend's edition next if you have access to a pond a lake or a river or a pool check out this is an inflatable raft with a motor in the bottom of it to fill it up you can use a hair blower. I don't own a hair blower, but I borrowed one, so I was able to do it. And then once you have it, it's a lot of fun. You can then take it to whatever body of water you have, and you can play bumpers, you can race, or you can just relax and float around. It's got a cup dispenser in it, just a lot of fun. Check out Pool Candy. And then last but not least, check out this over here. This is called Virus. It's a card game that came out before the pandemic, but it is about a pandemic. And you can see one of their viruses even looks a little bit like our virus, but it's a lot of fun. You have medications, you've got organs to protect. It's a really fun card game. And some of the proceeds from this have already gone to the World Health Organization. Now, if you want more information on anything I talked about today, check out my blog at stevegreenberg.tv. Click on Steve's blog. Everybody stay safe. Please try to stay sane. Take care. How fun is that inner tube? That inner tube. Hey, what? Get that over there on the Camel de Guadalupe. So, hey, next on SA Live, these aren't your typical burgers and chicken. What makes them special and how you can serve them at your next dinner. Stay with us. have been eating more while we're spending more time at home, so it might be time to start adding some healthy options to the menu. You could even try something new. Danny O'Malley, the president and founder of Before the Butcher, has something new for us to try. Danny, hey there. Hey, hey, how are you? Doing well. What's the recipe today? Well, I, I'm doing a beef-free stir-fry, so I, I starting with a a whole variety of amazing vegetables, all the great colors and, and vitamin, vitamins and minerals. And then we're, we're using our uncut plant-based burger as the protein in there. And, and our burger is 100% plant-based. It's gluten-free, non-GMO, and cholesterol-free as well. Now, we've, we've taken it and we've broken everything out and, we, and we've broke it down. Uh, you know, the great thing about veggies, and I'm working on the burger over here, I'm cooking that up because we're gonna break up this burger. The great thing about veggies is when you go to the store, you can literally buy these things already pre-prepped. So I've got I've got everything working over here. I'm going to put a little oil in the pan. I like a nice deep pan like that. And then we're going to take the veggies little by little. And we're just going to just going to pour them in the pan. So we got our carrots, snap peas, onions, some baby bell peppers beautiful colors of course and then broccoli i love the broccoli i'm accelerating this a little bit of course uh, depending on how much you like your vegetables to be crispy or a little bit softer would be how much time you would actually have it in the pan you can hear that sizzling, can't you? Yeah, and, and Danny, this is an easy way to kind of stay healthy, but what are some of the benefits, of course, to a plant-based diet? Well, of course, one of the greatest benefits is uh, you're saving our planet, so it, it's much less energy used to produce uh, plant-based than it is animal-based products and your own health. There's no cholesterol in this. So I'm just breaking up the burgers. I've got two burgers in here. It's eight ounces. Each burger is... 20 grams of protein, low in sodium. Our burgers only have 260 million grams of sodium. So I've got it all broken up here. And I'm just gonna take the burgers and just go ahead and add that to the veggie mix. I like to 
add a little bit here of low sodium soy sauce. Give it just a little flavor. You can add seasoning as you like. But this is still a very low sodium, high protein meal. When I'm done with it, we're gonna have enough food here, certainly for two, upwards of four people. Uh, we're gonna have well over 50 grams of protein and less than 600 milligrams of sodium, which is really a key here. And, and you, you asked about uh, the health benefits. Well, people are concerned about sodium. So when you've got something like this, that's low in sodium and so healthy for you. I also like to take and cover it up for a couple of minutes. Sometimes you add a little water to let steam within, builds up, uh, cooks off, and it is fantastic. Now, uh, we're gonna accelerate this a, a little bit here, and I'm gonna pour it in a pan for you to see. This is a beautiful meal. Oh, it really oh, look is. Where, look, look at the colors. Look, and, yes, and, the, and that's going to go a long that. way when, when it's served up, for sure. Now, where can folks find uh, your products? Wow, I just filled that right right over the top tonight. It, it is a beautiful meal. You can find our products now at Central Market. And uh, we have just expanded in Southern California and Whole Foods, and we hope to be in Whole Foods real soon. But if you go to Central Market today, you're going to be able to find our entire lineup of patties. And we've got a variety here. We've got our breakfast sausage, our chicken burger, our turkey burger, our regular burger. That's our original one right there. They're all 100% plant-based. They're gluten-free, non-GMO, clean label, and cholesterol-free. Really good for you. Oh, thank you so much, Danny O'Malley, president and founder of Before the Butcher. We appreciate your time and stay safe out there. Of course. Thank you. You too. Next on SA Live, have you been struggling with your sleep? You might be dealing with a problem you don't even know about, but we have experts who can help. Don't go anywhere. You're watching SA Live. <laughs> Are you feeling tired all the time? Does your partner complain that you snore? You might be suffering from sleep apnea and you're just not aware of it. Sleep technician Veronica Marios from the Center for Sleep Apnea and Snoring joins us today to talk about what this means for your health. Good afternoon, Veronica. Good afternoon, thank you for having me. Okay, for somebody that doesn't know, what exactly is sleep apnea? So sleep apnea is when you have pauses in breathing while you're sleeping, and it can happen hundreds of times during the night. Now, one of the, the symptoms is snoring, but what are some of the other symptoms? Some of the symptoms could be you wake up uh, feeling very um, tired in the morning. Even though you've had eight hours of sleep, you also struggle to stay awake during the day just because you're so tired. What happens is when you have those pauses in breathing at night, it's, it's not letting oxygen go to your brain, your organs. So it's also making your heart work harder and faster to get those oxygen levels up high. So it's not just a matter of losing sleep, but I mean, this definitely affects your health. Exactly. Yes. Okay. How can the Center for Sleep Apnea and Snoring help? So what we do, a lot of a lot of the people out there are used to, um, you know, when they have sleep apnea, they get issued out a CPAP machine, and a lot of that, a lot of the time, those CPAP machines are not being used, they're not being compliant. They wear it, they cannot tolerate it because it's this big old bulky machine, and um, a mask that goes on your face that forces air down your nose down your throat. So what we do is we have an alternative for CPAP for those who have mild to moderate sleep apnea or those who have failed CPAP therapy. And it is called a MAD. We talked about that, a mandibular appliance device. And this is what it looks like, okay? It anchors to your teeth. And what it does is it brings that lower jaw forward, open up the airway, and that way you can um, breathe naturally. And, you know, you can go back to bed with your partner because I'm, I know a lot of us are hanging out together a lot right now and this is probably something that we all need. <laughs> so is this thing covered by insurance? It is, most major insurances do cover and we also have uh, payment plans here at the office. Okay, and very quickly, uh, you have a special for somebody watching right now, right? We do, the first 25 callers will get a free consultation. All you need to do is 
call your office. Our operators will, um, you know, take your information down and schedule you an appointment to come and see us. Okay. And when you come see them, what extra steps are you taking to make people feel safe this time, this time around? Well, our office have been all, you know, dis uh, disinfected and sanitized. We did that in the whole time that we had been off. And then we also have, you know, our masks, our gloves, um, taking temperatures just to make sure everyone's okay. And we have signs up front just to make sure that everyone's taking extra precautions. One patient, you know, it's kind of like we're separating it a little bit more than one hour after the other. We're taking our time to clean and disinfect after someone leaves, give it some time, and then have someone come in and see us. Okay. Well, sounds fantastic. And once again, that special going on right now, the first 25 people to call will get a free sleep consultation. And that number is 210-598-8200. And for more information, visit the website stopsnoringtx.com. Tomorrow on SA Live, a new Hill Country hot spot and three of their signature cocktails. It's a thirsty Thursday to remember. And enjoy a nice slice of comfort food. We're talking to PB&J with Tay about their legendary peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That and more tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Look at the smile on this Look guy's face. Look at that. Earlier we asked you to show us your rescue dogs because today is National Rescue Dog Day and Giselle says, this is Clifford, rescued him from ACS, sweetest boy ever. Scratch right here. Or rescue Jay, who rescued who? No. Oh, isn't that right, case? Charlene? Yes. Danny says, this is my man, Dino. We adopted him from Animal Care Services and it was the best decision we ever made. He can hear us, I think. And Bernadette says, Haley, our rescue dog, who is a certified therapy read dog and works with struggling students. Wonderful. Look at that. Haley early earning her kibbles and bits. This is from Mark and Donna. This is our little chi and sweet Beauregard. Oh, and look at that one, Kelly. This is Ellie. This is from Perla Taurus. That's her fur baby. Yeah, I love how we're both sitting here looking at these pictures just smiling. I love this yeah. one. Milo and Maggie, hello from Fort Worth. Thank oh, you, Oh, hey there, guys. This is from Paula, my little senior citizen. Coco will be 14 this year. Oh, uh, one more. Sadie and her sister, Peggy? 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 Peggy. That's from Jennifer Smith. Peggy. Look at them. We are looking at